Greetings, travelers. Welcome to Lorespire. Today, Project Frontier was announced to the world, and it is one incredibly ambitious game. I was able to speak with the devs at Omni Creator Products, or OCP, the studio developing Project Frontier, and I was even able to playtest the game a bit, and I want to share my experience of it with you. Also, OCP was gracious enough to give us 250 early playtest codes that guarantee you a seat in their limited playtest demo that is planned to go live next month. If you want a code, watch this video to the end and I'll give you instructions on how to get one there. There are two main points to Project Frontier and the primary of these is its battle royale type versus matches. These matches will have teams of players dropped into a match. Each team will have its own objectives to win the match. At the beginning of the match, each team will start by collecting resources through mining and wood gathering and such. These resources can then be used to create things like uh, lumber mills, which will then send out NPCs to auto harvest resources so that the players can begin working towards their objectives. Now these NPCs can be killed, so you'll want to clear the area of hostile creatures and such to keep them safe. Uh, you could also slow down your opponent's progress by attacking their resource gatherers, uh, but you would have to use valuable time to find them, so it's unclear how good of a strategy that would actually be, uh, but definitely something to consider. Now, different teams will have different objectives, but these may not always be adversarial. It is possible to ally with another team to more quickly reach your objective. However, it is also possible to betray your allies, so that may be a tough strategy to successfully implement. The ability to betray is an interesting twist and will surely keep allies watching each other closely. The first ally to find an opportune moment to commit a betrayal will certainly have a huge advantage. And if any of this footage or these mechanics are bringing to mind Helldivers 2 or Valheim, uh, you should know that Omni Creator Products is billing this game as a combination of those two games, or at least it's versus battles as a combination of those two games. But here is where it gets really interesting. The other major part of Project Frontier is its easy modding interface. You can enter a creator mode within the game, which allows you to build your own match with its own objectives. That mode allows you to search through hundreds, held probably thousands of assets that are available to make up your own encounters and quests within a match. To be clear, this is the exact same interface that the developers use to create a match, so you will have access to everything that they do. I was able to play around with this for a while, and it's fairly simple and straightforward to use, pretty intuitive, it's something that I believe everybody will be able to use to create matches that they, they may want to play. For those of you out there who are familiar with coding, there is a coding interface that you can use to change things as you see fit. However, the ease with which the point and click and drag interface works is going to allow absolutely anybody to make any kind of game that they want for people to play. OCP even told me that they have already had someone create a soccer sim within Project Frontier where you can play actual soccer inside of a match. And these player created matches do not have to be adversarial or even multiplayer. They can be a single player experience if you want. All of that considered, I'll give it weeks before there is a plethora of people's favorite scenes, quests, boss battles, and more from all kinds of games recreated within Project Frontier. Eventually, there might even be recreations of entire games. Some player-created experiences will be featured by OCP in Project Frontier, and featured or not, creators should be able to make their creations available to the wider community. There are so many possibilities with this feature and I am extremely excited to see what crazy and awesome experiences people create. Now I just want to say that the OCP has uh, dropped their own uh, presentation video, announcement video for Project Frontier. 
and uh, I will link to that in the description here where they will go more in depth on some of these things that I'm talking about. As far as Project Frontier and my hands-on experiences with it, I could go on, but I feel like it's best to wrap it up here and, uh, you know, not get overly long-winded. If you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments or join us on Discord and you can ask there. I will have links to the Project Frontier Discord and the Lorespire Discord in the description. Now, if you want one of the 250 codes that OCP has supplied to us, that will allow you to be among the first players to playtest Project Frontier starting in June. Use the Lorespire Discord link down in the description to join the Lorespire Discord. Then DM me and let me know that you want the link to try out Project Frontier. The first 250 of you to do so will be able to join the playtest next month. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Project Frontier and other gaming content. This has been Chris with Lorespire. Be well, my friends.